Hi, Alan Edda. I decided that I'm going to read you a story, and then that way you can watch it on your big TV. Okay, so this story, I think it got wet. Remember, this has gone through four children, but I thought of this story today because it's by Jan Brett, and you might have the story at your house. And I thought of Jan Brett because yesterday I was drawing with Allie and I wanted to learn how to draw an elephant. So I typed in on the computer, how to draw an elephant. And this author, who's a great artist, as you can see, actually had a little video online about how to draw an elephant. So yesterday afternoon, I was drawing elephants with Allie. This is my elephant I drew yesterday. But this story isn't about an elephant. This is about a gingerbread baby. All right, here we go. Can you see? I'm not gonna do this here Think for a sec. Can we make a gingerbread? Maddie asked his mother. Yes, she said, and lit the stove. Maddie got down the cookbook. They mixed the dough, and Maddie rolled it into the shape of a gingerbread boy. They popped him in the oven. Tick-tock, Maddie peeked. Too soon, out jumped the gingerbread baby. I am the gingerbread baby, fresh from the pan. If you want me, catch me if you can. Okay, so the gingerbread baby runs out the door and they have to chase him. The gingerbread baby ran around the kitchen. The door opened and in came Maddie's father. The gingerbread baby ran out shouting, catch me if you can. He ran by the cat. She sprang at him. See the cat? They rumbled and tumbled, but the gingerbread baby came out on top. They ran, the dog ran after him. The gingerbread baby climbed over the wall, shouting, catch me if you can. Maddie stayed at home, looking at his cookbook. He heard his mother and father yelling, the cat meowing and the dog barking. The gingerbread baby ran into the barn. He raced around across the goat's backs. Look at him on the goats. Singing loud me, catch me if you can. The gingerbread baby stopped at the well for a drink. Madeline watched him. Martha tried to catch him, but she was too slow. He grabbed the girls' braids, tied them together, and ran off. At home, Maddie stirred, mixed, and rolled the dough. He put it in the oven. I will catch him if I can, Maddie said to himself. The gingerbread baby jumped into a farm wagon. A mama pig tried to catch him, but then he jumped into the air twisted around and got away just in time. I am the gingerbread baby. I am quick. I am fast. Now I am clever and I am smart. No one can catch me. Now the gingerbread baby came to a bridge. All the villagers and the animals raced after him. So he jumped off landed on a chunk of ice and floated down the river. Look at me and what do you see? The best gingerbread baby ever, he sang and jumped ashore. Who was watching from the trees? Smack, smack, a hungry fox. The gingerbread baby ran away fast. This gingerbread baby is fast. The milk and cheese man passed by. The gingerbread baby hid in the lid. Aha, ee hee, I'm the gingerbread baby. You'll never find me. The milk and cheese man lifted the lid. I'm the gingerbread baby. Catch me if you can. Now, 
Everyone chased after that naughty gingerbread baby getting closer. The gingerbread baby smelled something delicious and followed his nose into the woods, running fast. He couldn't believe what he saw. A gingerbread house? <gasps> the gingerbread baby clapped his hands and ran inside. Maddie was watching from the trees. When everyone arrived, all they found were crumbs. <gasps> that must be all that's left of the gingerbread baby, Maddie's mother said. Let's go home and tell Maddie. Hello, Maddie, his father said. We didn't catch the gingerbread baby. Did you make that beautiful gingerbread house? His mother asked. Yes, said Maddie, smiling. Only Maddie could hear the tiny voice from inside the gingerbread house. Maddie caught the gingerbread baby by making him a house to live in. The end. I hope you enjoyed the story, Alan Etta. Let me know if you want me to read you another one and send it to you. Bye-bye.